Kiss, what are you doing here? I'm helping us get trail and town because Seven is no help. His legs are pretty enough. Really need to be are we getting a hitch? <laughs> Yay! I catch a town. I catch a trail. Yay! I catch a trail. Traffic on the road. Yeah, no traffic. <laughs> Starting the year. Oh, you found a stick, Sheila. Read it. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> that she lives for that. The toppling of the camera set the scene for what was to be a slightly soul sucking section. Suckers gonna do. Yeah! <laughs> Hiking on Route 66. Route 66. So we made a little boo boo. Thought there would be water in this here ravine. But it is very dry, so I have less than a litre of water to get me through now, about 19 miles. Thankfully it's late afternoon, so I think the plan is, is to hike now into the night and then get up early when it's not warm and hike again, get through those miles till we can get water again. So lesson learned get more water than you think particularly if the water source might not be reliable we ran into some motorbikers who told us that up the ravine there was water so about point four up we found water and now what are we going to do tonight Cooking. Cooking, yay! Warm food with water. tough day, a lot of road walking and strong winds which zap the energy from you. Hence this very disheveled look. Um, and now I'm in my tent which I think I've got it in a sheltered spot but who knows. But watch me take off my sock, that's the real highlight of the day. Look at those toes. Yep. So I woke up this morning with a sore left butt cheek. My right one's fine. It's just my left one. So go figure. Who knows why that is. Uh, but in grants, I was thinking of maybe getting a back massage. 
but maybe while I'm there I'll just be like just just scooch on down a little bit and massage that left butt cheek as well so we'll see how my left butt cheek goes I'll keep you updated however despite the soul suckingness of this section there were also some highlights Pie Town was an oasis in between Reserve and Grants. While there is not much in town, the couple of restaurants, the pie, the post office that does a great job of finding resupply boxes for the hikers that stream through every day, and the toaster house, which hikers can stay at, were all great. So this is the Pie Town Toaster House. Hi, Katra. Ooh. Four out of five toasters to Pie Town. I packed this resupply box back in Lordsburg before I even started hiking and had no idea three weeks later what I had actually packed to get me through to Grants. The other highlights of this section were walking past a creepy old cabin. And then doing the Narrows Trail up on the Mesa outside of Grants, which had incredible views. This was followed by a really fun scramble down just before the La Ventana Arch. Speciality. Just, it looks like a giant poo in a tortilla. <laughs> Made it to Grant's, showered, feeling like a new woman. These socks that are so gross and dirty, not getting washed, they're just getting thrown into the bin. Uh, and a left butt cheek update is feeling okay. I think it was because I've got blisters on the left foot. So I was favouring that side a bit, causing me to short, step a bit shorter and that, yeah, caused a bit of a weird gait which then made my left butt cheek hurt but not my right. But it's okay now because I all know, I know you all wanted a butt cheek update. New socks, this is very exciting. Sock number one. That bright orange. Sock number two. <gasps> Grants was a much needed reset after the road walking and wind. It was also cool to be on Route 66, but Grants only gets three camping stoves out of five because the motel district was three miles away from downtown. And while there was a shuttle in business hours, 
to get anywhere outside of those times required a long walk on roads that were not particularly pedestrian friendly.